We'll get the university then. Um, yeah, because this might give us some technology for the other place, so. That's what we'll do. We even it again. Tumble, mitten, tumble, damn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. You're pretty close anyway. Mitten University, the vice chancellor of Mitten, Univers Mitten University, um, has been impressed with our progress, and we've been invited to establish Mitten University Research and Teaching Hospital. This is a great opportunity for us. You know, we can set up a research department and develop new tech. We'll only be able to recruit student doctors and nurses here, so we'll need to train them up. Mitten University will provide us with extra funds for each person we train and each research project we complete. Firstly though, we'll need a research license. The ministry will grant us one if we can demonstrate our technical, te technical prowess by establishing a hospital with some upgraded machinery. Okay. Temperature. Some parts of the county are quite cold or too hot. We'll need to keep people comfortable by ensuring they're warm enough, but also not too warm. If people are too cold or too hot, they can become unhappy and may eventually leave. I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> in cold locations, place uh, radiators around the hospital. In hot locations, we'll need air conditioning. Use the temperature visualization mode to identify cold and hot areas of the hospital. Make all of the hospital a comfortable temperature to maximize their thermal, our thermal comfort rating. Okay, are you going to give me the air conditioning stuff for free then? We get radiators for free. Do we have AC for free now? Because I never bought it. Oh, I'm going to have to buy it. Yeah, I'm going to have to buy it. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll take it. We'll get it. Okay. Uh, we have 155 kudosh left. Maybe we look at, like, different benches for this. We could do the silvery benches. And then maybe a trophy case to show off all of our rewards that we have. Okay, that's good. So we have additional items now. Let's check out the, check out the hospital here. This is nice. Oh, I was thinking we could expand it a bit, but this looks cool, doesn't it? Oh, I like it. Now, we still have to pay for the additional plots. So these are the plots we can have. We still have to pay for them, so... Hmm. All right, well, we're going to want a reception area. We know that much. <clears throat> we'll start by getting a fairly good-sized reception area. How about like this? This should be pretty good. Right in the front here is nice. We can put the hatch in the back, but then we can stick reception here, here, like this. So four things for reception. We're gonna start off by spending a ton of money. Why not? We'll only have one assistant, but we can expand easily without having to deal with it. It's fine. Um, mini filing cabinets. We can put like a couple of those over here. And then air conditioning unit can go maybe over here. That's kind of a silly spot for it. But it is more centrally located. I'm wondering if, like, if there's a range. You know what? Let's wait and see what the temperature here actually is. Uh, let's talk about an actual waiting room. We need to look at waiting room stuff. So this looks pretty nice. Big, big thing. And we can all really expand it and have a lot of different things. So it's cool. So let's see what the temperature is in here. Uh, how do I tell? Here. Okay. I assume that blue is cold. I assume. It doesn't actually tell me that. But I assume it. That's cold. So we'll want to probably have a radiator in here somewhere. So let's put a radiator in with reception. Wow. You need radiators like all over the place in this place. Okay. We'll put it in the middle then so it has most impact here. Uh, then we need some, uh, some regular rooms and stuff. So let's start with GP. We'll go like this with you. There for now. Let's get a second GP as well. I, I think we're gonna need two of them anyway. So we'll get general practice. We'll get them diagnosed over here. We could try this like a bit more sensibly than before, if that's possible for me. 
by like sort of corralling them a certain direction. So like they would eventually when the when the hospital is all set up, they would come over here for the wait. They'd get themselves diagnosed to get further tests done if they need them. And then they would proceed through the hospital to their treatment. So they wouldn't have eventually we won't have any treatment done in here. All the treatments will be done around everywhere else. But this will just be like a place where they, they wait, they get diagnosed, they have you know amenities where they can uh, not be bored, things like that. I think maybe that's what I'm thinking right now. Um, we'll put this in here for now. That's two. We're gonna need a pharmacy for sure. The pharmacy we could put in the back here, but I'm gonna wait and see how this shapes up. So general diagnosis is gonna go on this side. The rooms don't need to be large. We're just gonna make sure that they're well equipped with decorative stuff to help their prestige. Like this is fine. Um, We'll, I'll decorate them later, once I have the layout done. Um, let's see, what else do we want over here? Another GD, probably. To reserve another GD, and yeah, we are kind of going symmetrical here. Don't worry. <laughs> this trend will not continue for long. Don't you worry. We won't stay symmetrical forever. Let's put cactuses in the corner here. I don't think they need water. Not sure. All right. So with two of these offices, two GPs, two GDs, I'm thinking pharmacy is pretty easy to get here. And we'll just put the pharmacy tech right here. That's fine for now. Uh, we'll do one pharmacy for now. And then, um, let's see. What else do we want? I think for now we need places to treat certain illnesses, but I don't know what illnesses we're going to have to deal with. So without knowing that, there's no way I can, um, there's no way I can really properly equip it. So let's get a janitor first. We can only hire students, it says, as far as, but we, well, we, these guys, we can only hire student doctors and nurses. Yeah. So we have to train everybody. Wow. So we're not going to have a very good of anything here. He's hangry, a natural mentor, green fingers, consistently fails to get a grip. <laughs> Gordon Tart. <laughs> You're in. <laughs> um, consistently fails to get a grip. Uh, one nurse. Let's get Roy Flavor. Charming, knows the etymology of procrastinate. You can guess how. Uh, wants more money, cheese for brains, once bold to 73. <laughs> and then Gwendolyn Terry, wants more money, high energy, believes they mean well. Hey, right, Terry, you're in. You're gonna need at least one janitor. We can get somebody with maintenance abilities and ghost capture, so we're gonna grab you. And then I think for the assistant, uh, you seem, yeah, you have great customer service, you seem like the best one. Inspiring, scared of seals. I think we'll have a strange lack of seals here, so that's fine. Probably want a staff room behind this so that they can rest and stuff when they want to. So let's also get a staff room set up back here. This ought to be okay. We'll do a, a kind of sizable, kind of, maybe like this. We'll give it a little bit of size. A couple of chairs here. We're going to want plants. Yeah, right here. And then let's do a trophy case. Nice. Showcase showcase what you've done, you know. Showcase all your good things that you've done. The yucca plant can go here. Um, we'll do a drinking fountain. Probably over... Can I put it next to the... I can, but it's kind of kind of weird. Let's put them along the wall here. Like this. Yeah. Then, this is a waiting room kind of area, right? So, we're probably going to want to put in a bunch of benches. We'll use the silver benches this time. I think they cost the same. Yeah. Silver benches this time. Um, we can put some waiting areas along the wall, but we might want to also turn this into a room. Can it fit? No. A uh, room can technically... Technically, a room could fit here, though. So maybe this isn't the best spot for this, because we could maybe put a room here in it later. 
Let's put these drinking fountains over closer to the door. Like this. And then if I put in toilets. Yeah, like this. But we're gonna take away this one tile. It looks crowded. Let's take away both of those tiles. Yeah. Like this, sinks can go. There's a window there. That's perfect. <laughs> That's perfect. It's exactly what I would want. It's to have a window to the outside of my bathroom. It's perfect. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, hand dryer, we can put that uh, next to the window. Yep. Also needs a door. Put that in right here. Perfect. Sign it up. There's our bathroom. Also want to make sure it's nice and beautified. We'll stick a cactus right in the middle of the floor. How's that sound? <laughs> it's perfect. Uh, that's why students suck. They don't know anything. Yeah, well, that's true. Hey, it's Clems first. How are you? Welcome back. Let's go... Well, temperatures, it's its its cold here, so we need radiators. So I'm going to put a radiator. It's going to have to be going in the bathroom. One will go in the bathroom. I think we'll put one near this, yep. And then one in here. We need radiators, like, everywhere, kind of, so. Pretty much every room needs its own radiator. Put a yucca plant in here. Yeah. Magazine rack for the waiting room. Uh, do we want them waiting on this side? No, I think we want them waiting here. So we need to provide all of the things that are going to entertain them to be here as well. Let's give them a magazine rack here. Let's give them the leaflet stand. Not quite yet. Let's do the benches first. I still like the back to back benches. I'm still a fan of the back-to-back -back benches. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Eight for now, eight should be more than enough. Our futuristic benches. Right? Let's do one more. There. Um, we should be able to support drink machines. Let's go like that. Snack machines, let's go like that. We should be able to give them... You know what? I can give them a couple of arcades right here. Like that. Yeah. We're getting low on money, so I do need to be cautious. I've almost spent half my, oh, half my cash already. Dog portrait here. Radiator in here is going to be important. Like that. Um, man, we need radiators everywhere, don't we? These things do not have very high, very good range. I, I'm kind of disappointed in the range that these things have. But I guess it makes sense. If it's a cold outside and you have just huge building with this tiny little radiator, it probably isn't going to do very much. So I suppose that's probably all right. All right, let's go normal speed and see what we get here for this. Probably should have the leaflet thing. Uh, leaflet stand, put that right here. Yeah, and then we can put in like plants there and a yucca plant there. We're coming up to the top of the hour, which, if you ask me, is the very best part of the hour. I know, I know, some of you will say, but Ricky, what about the bottom of the hour? And you'd be right. Wow. Beach posters. Another one there. Switch to the dog painting for there, there, and there. Cool. All right, we're ready for patients then. We'll see what they d get diagnosed with and then we'll react to that. So whatever they come in with, we'll react to that and we'll build those over here. And then eventually we can move around. Let's get, oh, I can't. Oh, uh, the janitor has the maintenance skill, not the mechanic skill. Uh, well, I don't have anyone available with anything else, so it's fine. 
Hello, patient number one. How are you, Linda Eggman? Good to see you. Feeling too cold? Well, that's because we have to get you warmed up as well. How about we get a radiator? Like this in the waiting rooms. Make it nice and cozy in the waiting room. I like that idea. If you smell something suspicious, please fill out form 37B. Yep, probably what we need. We're losing money, but that's okay. We're gonna start getting people, and that's what we need, patients. Did you get diagnosed? What do you have? You need to go to, you need further diagnosis. Of course you do. Well, that means one of our nurses has to go over here, right? Wait, where are you going? Oh, you're waiting for the nurse. Okay, now that the nurse is there, you can help. Okay, good. Second person going into GP. So this is a nice seamless process. They go through here, then they immediately come this way and go to the nearest GP's office. You can wait here while they're doing it. And then they progress to general diagnosis if they need it. And if it's a pharmacy thing they get, get helped with, well, they'll go there. Let's hire another nurse. Um, we'll go ahead and hire you. You can work in the pharmacy for a bit. The chances to cure people are pretty low, but at least we can, we have the nurses to handle it, hopefully. Chicken, thanks for coming by, man. Appreciate your, uh, appreciate the lurk as well, thanks. So Mr. Charlie, what do you think of my pun? You talked about me, but not my actual pun. Those unable to find the hospital will not be considered patients. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I uh, love chats. Why? Because I love they love death. By that I mean die. Uh, okay. I don't I don't get it. Are we actually? Two points of view. Oh, we have people waiting. We have too many. Like there are people coming in fast now, which should be good for us. Center for treatment. What's the treatment? Bogworts. So yeah, it's pharmacy. Still, we can still treat that in the pharmacy. Might need, a, might need another pharmacy pretty quick. Can I fit one in here? That was the whole point. I can't. However, if I made this the bathroom, I could then fit the pharmacy here. I think. I think. Well, I could also put another pharmacy on the other side of the building, but that was kind of not as effective as I wanted to be. I was hoping to put a pharmacy here. If I, can I pick this room up? And move it this way? If I do that, then maybe I can get a second pharmacy, start treating people faster. Like this? Then what am I doing with this space? I don't think you need a, such a large reception. Planning for the future, and it's not that it's more expensive to do that. It's just it's just planned up for the future. Like eventually, we're gonna have the whole place running, and this will be a great reception area, and I won't have to touch it. I won't have to do a whole lot of editing for it. Let's put the pharmacy here. I need another pharmacy. I already know what's going to happen, so we need to do it. You can, can go like this. We'll need a radiator in there like that. Put a clock up here if we want to as well. Mark it. Cool. Okay, and then we'll eventually get additional nurses and stuff too, but right now we're losing money a bit, so I need to get more patients first. What's the queue like for the pharmacy? Okay, zero so far. Probably getting a second doctor wouldn't be half bad, since the queue length for GP is what's starting to grow. Yeah, we need a new question of the day. I agree. I just don't. I don't have one in my head though. That's the. It's the downside is that I don't really have anything in my head right now for that. Um. Didn't get cured. Oh no! Is he gonna die? Aww, 56% chance to succeed. 
he's going down. Luckily, our janitor has the ghost removal, so we will be able to get rid of the ghost. Uh, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. So unfortunate. Uh, put a yucca plant in the corner here. Make it nice and pleasant in here, hopefully. Jumbo medical solution. That is the uh, the goal. Make it all pleasant in here. How's the temperatures looking? Okay, where it counts, it's it's okay temperature where it counts. I think it could be warmer though. I wish I could get bigger radiators. Doesn't seem to be something I can grab right now. So, perhaps we'll just put one here. that just need to make people cozy uh mock star emergency there's a group suffering from mock star after a mysterious guy okay so they need psychi psychiatry so we need to do psychiatry first uh, we have misery guts which takes the pharmacy okay uh staff training is possible but let's hold off a second we need to get the psychiatry working so first thing i want to do i think is i want to move this room back over here then i want to start looking at psychiatry we can put that i guess we can put that over here to keep it organized but i'm gonna put it over here for now This is a door, so we can't... Let's do this. And let's go... Uh, maybe like this. That. We're going to need radiators to keep it warm in here. God, man. So many radiators are needed in this place. Radiator... There as well, I guess. Yeah, it needs to, we need to keep the place warm, so that's how you do it. That's how it works. This will be where psychiatry happens. And then uh, we're not going to need a ward yet, but I have a feeling this is where our ward's going to have to be for now, which means this over here might end up being clowns. It could end up being training. Uh, we need training too. Staff training. Maybe this is where we do that. I think this is where we do that. Let's just do this right now. So we'll have it line up maybe like over here. And then we'll do the student desks. We can start with this many desks. There we go. All right. Need radiator. There we go. About like that. I should keep the place nice. Good. Starting to see a lot less blue now. That's making me happy. Put a clock in here to help with prestige. Telephone. Should I put a telephone in here? Be right next to the drinking fountain. There's nothing else that's gonna go there, so. Could put a radiator here just to make them a nice warm welcome. Might need to move it later, but if we need to move it, we'll move it later. So this is training. Now, we we have to train somebody, but we, we we can, but we don't have the money really right now. I am at a, a $9,000 profit, so there is that. And having another nurse, it seems to be something that would be a good idea. Having a better trained nurse would also be a good idea. So let's make sure that we have adequate people ready to go for the pharmacy, but we also need another doctor because that doctor is going to need a break. So how about we go eat pasta, pasta, dis <laughs> eats pasta disgracefully. <laughs> oh God. All right. We have an extra doctor now. Good. We discovered mock star, right? We have psychiatry. It's great. Uh, we're going to work on that too. This needs a doctor to work there. Yeah. So doctors. 
Class clown. Grows turnips as and to give the, as gifts. Holy shit, there's so many of them. We, have, we don't have a doctor with a psychiatry qualification. Well, that's true. We don't. And I can't get one because I can only hire students. So we're going to have to turn these guys away. You know? Like, I don't have the people for this. Unless I want to train one of my doctors. I'm going to have to. Let's train two of my doctors for that. It's not going to be cheap. Not going to be cheap. Um, yeah. So, you can be trained. I just can't do it now. We really need another pharmacy guy, too. Oh, man. Look at all these guys. Look at all these VIPs we're not going to be able to treat. This is the waiting room. Why are you standing over here? Damn people. Have a seat, dumbasses. <laughs> Have a seat. Oh my god. At least they're somewhat comfortable now. Kind of. Sort of. You could tree there and there. We do what we can. Bookcase. Not that the rock stars are ever going to want to do anything with a bookcase, but it's right there. Uh, magazine rack. Sure. Let's give him one of those little leaflet things. Yeah, leaflet stand. Let's do like one of those here. Cool. First thing I did on this map, training room, train a couple of psychs. Yeah, I didn't know the psychs were coming. I didn't know this was going to be required. Yeah, look at the queue. It's pretty long. These two will be trained in it, so I'm thinking we're going to need another psychiatry room anyway to cover them all. So I'm just going to get another room started right now. But I didn't know. I didn't know this was going to be needed. This student hospital sucks. I can't believe these guys are trying to... These guys are stupid. I'm never coming back here again. Good riddance. Uh, Mitten University has awarded us with $5,000 for completion of some training. Perfect. Now we have doctors with this skill. So let's make sure you're in here. Yes. Where's the other doctor with that skill? Oh my god, the queue is so long. You are working in here. Good. Hey, come see your first patient. What about you? You're, like, learning, but you're not... Man, this guy learned way quicker than you did. Plants need water. Need another janitor. This one has maintenance. This one has mechanics. We can upgrade people with this guy. Or we can upgrade machines with that guy. So... I think we're gonna get started upgrading that machine first. This guy is now a psychiatrist. In you go. <laughs> Cure them, please. Cure them if you can. Cure them if you can. Uh, we could maybe get our drug mixers. I'm gonna need more nurses though. We're pretty short on nurses right now. Likes to argue? No. Likes to argue. Class clown. Says Bluetooth when they mean Wi-Fi. Perfect. You're my kind of guy. In you go. <laughs> alert notice. Please be alert. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll give you a little bit of a raise. I just want you just enough to be happy. Uh, Gwendolyn wants to raise the, ho the hospital attractiveness. Okay, sure. I think we could do that, 70%. Uh, Gwendolyn Terry also has a lot of experience. She wants to be trained. Well, okay. Okay, you're a nurse. It would be helpful for you to know some things. Let's get you pharmacy tech. Yes. Definitely want to get you pharmacy tech. 
Uh, I will finally get all the nurses pharmacy tech, actually. Let's everyone take a break. <laughs> Come in there and learn pharmacy tech. Go, quick. Some good advice All the nurses, like everyone except one. We have one nurse remaining right here, just for helping with GD. But that's it. 